Cue the music. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea, also known as Curly Sense, and thank you so much for stopping so by. So damn much, man. It's been a while. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Today is exciting. That's why I'm all hyped up. This is an exciting video. It's a very video. exciting video. What are we doing today? So today we're smelling all of the Kayali fragrances. All 10. We bought the whole damn Kayali store. The whole the whole Kayali store. We've never smelled them except for, for one. I have smelled, smelled, you and I have smelled one, which I spoke about on another on video. On a previous video. We'll, we'll get to that later. <laughs> so this is gonna be blind sniff and rate for us. First impressions. First impressions. Gonna spray it on the paper and see what we get. We'll let you know if they're worth your money. And or your time, your time. Or if they suck. Yeah. Because if they suck, you know we're gonna say it. Oh yeah. But I hope you like this video, okay? Because I read the comments on all of Carly Sen's videos, yeah. right? Literally every female video we do, someone for. says, something about Kayali. Yeah. Hey, can you review Kayali? Can you review this one? Can you review yes. that? We're here today. This is the end all of Kayali <laughs> on Curly Sense channel. We're gonna get down to business. Exactly. So, are you guys ready? Enough chit chat. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's let's do let's it. Let's get into it. All right. Okay, guys. So we have a bunch of the mini travel size of the Kayali fragrances. And a few decants. We're just gonna like pick one at a time and you wanna and just just go go. You with wanna it. pick the first one? <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna grab one. Grab one. Okay. Which one is that? Ooh. Invite only. Invite only. Amber twenty three. Spray them Let's away. See what we got. I love smelling fragrances this, for the first time blindly. Oh my god, it gives the me best life. Thing we live for this stuff. Man, these are some cute ass bottles. Very cute. Very very cute. Ooh, oh oh oh, I'm getting something. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Didn't expect that from uh, from Kayali. Really? Yeah. I don't know much about the brand at all. First word that comes to my mind is animalic. Yes. Animalic. Kind of like a winey, kind of like a, mas a marsala wine. Yeah, I see exactly what you're saying. That was stored in a cabinet. Yes, yeah, like some some vintage wine. Vintage wine. I I know this type of smell, and I get it a lot with like ouds. Yes. Oh, it must be oud in here, no? Must be yeah. oud. Maybe that's why I'm thinking al animalic. Yes. I was also getting when it first came to me, I was like thinking musky. You know what I got when I first Santal Complet. Really? Yes, in oh, the I air. Didn't. Okay. In the air. But how about up close? No. I, don't, I don't get that at no. all. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Now, yeah. oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. If you ask me, Andrea, would you wear this fragrance? Is this something that you would buy and you recommend? I'd say it's not for the faint-hearted. Yeah, it's quite a specific genre. It is a specific genre. It's a little bit out there. So if you are starting your collection, I wouldn't go for this one. Yeah, um, this wouldn't be your first Kayali no, buy for sure. it wouldn't sure. be your first Kayali. It's sweet, musky, maybe uri, mm. woody. Animalic. And, yeah. I'm not feeling this one. Yeah, what's your rating? I'm gonna go like uh, five. I feel like I've smelt this DNA, this before. DNA a million times and I'm yeah. not a huge fan. Yeah, I agree. But if you're into that kind of, how should I say it? Like Middle Eastern kind of style, yes. animalic, yes. oody, You ambery. would like this, you would like it. Okay, for me, it's not bad. It's just not my cup of tea, so. Yeah, no, it's not a bad fragrance. I just uh, don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it a five as well. I yeah. think it's down the middle, you know? We not can, hate, not love. Yeah. Down the middle. We can do better. Yeah, we can, we do, can better. do better. Yeah. On to the next one. Next. All right, it's my turn. And I will go with Hayali Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. Come on. Look at this juice color. Some dark juice, guys. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, definitely stainy. Stain yeah. Don't spray this on white clothes. Oh, snap. Mm. Mm. Very vanilla -y. Fits the name. Yes. I don't know what the cocoa means, but it's not. I don't get any. Wait, cocoa like cacao? I don't know if it's cocoa or... like cacao, chocolate, or, like or if coconut. it's a different cocoa. Oh, maybe coconut. Maybe coconut. So this is a, like a vanilla kind of floral tuberosey one. Yes. Do okay. you get that? Yes, I, I see the tuberose. It has a slight tropical vibe to it, as if you're at the beach. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're getting that. Definitely. Mm, ylang ylang. That's what it is. 
Okay. Yilang yeah, yilang. I see that. But I think, again, this is a DNA that I've smelled before. It's not something that you will wear and you will be standing out, for example. I think it reminds me of Yilang Yingo by Mikalev. I do agree that this is a very familiar smell. I don't get Yilang in gold. I immediately thought of Givenchy Linter did intense, oh. kind of with that tuberosey feel. I see. And also it reminds me, I don't know what, I think it's the Killian that Rihanna wears. Rolling in uh, Or love, love, don't be shy. Love, don't be shy. Really? Yeah, I, this is based off memory, so don't slay yeah. me in the comments if I'm completely off. I love both of those I, fragrances. I see the Linter tip for sure. Yeah. yeah, I get it. It's very sexy. It's very thick, tuberose, creamy, vanilla, kind of tropical. Yeah. Very nice, but I've smelled this before. Yeah, you smell, yeah. Don't get me wrong. If Smells you're wearing great. this one, you're gonna get complimented. I don't think people can help themselves no, this is... not to compliment you. It's very nice. Yeah, as soon as we sprayed it, I was yeah. like, whoa. It's very nice. But then I was like, wait, I know what this is. Yeah. This is something else. Hey, rating. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna give it two ratings. Why? Because, okay, based on <laughs> smell alone, if you don't know the other fragrances we were talking about, this could be a great option. So I'll give it like an 8.5 off smell. Yeah. It smells amazing. Yeah. Based on originality, six. Six? Yeah. I'm gonna give it one rating and this is gonna be 7.5 for me. Next one. Okay. All right, guys, before we move on with this Kayali adventure, we gotta give a quick shout out to the sponsors of today's video. Which are? Sensesplit.com. As you guys already saw, we're using Dickens and travel sizes for this video because when it's possible, it's yeah. better to try out a fragrance first before committing to a full bottle. I don't know how much Kayali bottles are, but I think <laughs> exactly. they're up there or a lot of niche fragrances are like two, $300. So of course, if you guys are looking for a new website or place to get samples so that you can try stuff out, Sensplit is really good. We've ordered it's from them place. like many, many times and they have decants of all sizes. So this is like the 2ML, which looks really small, but this can give you a good three full wearings. Exactly. They have the 5ML, which comes in Heavy glass. Heavy glass and the 9ml. And the 9ml, which will last you, what, like a month? Probably. Unless you're like me, spraying, <laughs> showering into your fragrances. They carry all the hyped brands. They have tons of Parfum de Marly. They BDK. have Creed, BDK. I think we got a sample of Gris Charnel exactly. recently, the new Gris Charnel. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave a link down below to their website if you wanna check them out. And who knows, you might find your next favorite fragrance. Highly recommended. <laughs> Okay, my sweet little baby boy. You wanna push the table a little bit on the front? <laughs> All right guys, that black bottle is calling my name. All right. This one is called Elixir. Let's see if this elixir can make me fall in love, <laughs> baby. Oh, I just... What? I just squirted it on myself. Oh my God. I just what are you doing? I was trying to straighten the atomizer and I ended up spraying it. Jeez. That was a lot of sprays. That's okay. The more the merrier. What is that? I need a moment. Oh, now we are talking. Yeah, 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 we are. Hello, Kayali. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, I wish we smelled this one first. So with this one, I'm getting a lot of roses. Okay. A lot of roses, and I'm also getting like a berry. Oh, yes. Like a berry. Thing, like a purple berry. Yes. Right? Oh my God, it's purple. <laughs> it's purple. This perfume is purple. It's purple. What? I mean, it definitely has white flowers in here just because it reminds me of the original Poison by Dior. Oh wow, I don't think Wait. I've smelled that. You did. The original Poison? Yes. Oh. I don't remember. Hated it, but it's okay. I hated it? Well, I love this, so I don't think they're similar. <laughs> Anyways, it's very dark to me, very mysterious, very sexy, dangerous. Definitely, definitely gonna wear this one. So start saving up money to buy me a full bottle. <laughs> oh, there goes my money. <laughs> stunning. This is stunning for me. Bravo. Listen, I, I can't pick out anything. I don't know what's in here. I'm not even gonna try and get any notes, explain yeah. any notes. All I can say is this is sexy yeah. as hell. Gothic. Mm. I don't want to be influenced by the bottle, but as you said, this is like dark and mysterious yeah. and sultry and sexy and all the S's. Intoxicating. Sensual. I'm intoxicated it's by this, intoxicating. no doubt. Yeah. Intoxicating. I get what you mean by like the purple berry kind yeah. of smell. Yeah. Man, this, this is hitting my soul right yeah. now. I am in love with this. Wow. I. 
we need to get a bottle because I'm going to be talking about this one more often. Okay. This is, you, you got you. You, you got to dress in all black for this. This is nighttime only. Definitely nighttime. Like seduction. You're out on the town and you're just like, oh my God. God, you're the finest Men. woman walking down the street. Cat woman will wear this fragrance. Exactly. Cat woman, like Cat some, woman. you're wearing Men. some like latex or leather pants and you're, oh my God. It's a killer. If there's a better Kayali than this one, I, I, I might just faint. Mm. I might just like have to get an ambulance out of here because. Please no. This is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah, it no is. doubt. It is, That's, 10 out of 10. Yeah, sexy. Sex. Buy it. Sex. Buy it. <laughs> Musk number 12. Ooh. Let's see. You guys know, if you've been watching the channel, you guys know we're both Musk fans. We are. So let's see what this Musk is all about. Oh. Oh, yeah. You get what I get? Yeah. I don't know what you get. <laughs> what do you get? A little bit of uh, pure musk, white musk, I'm sorry, by Body Shop. You know what, I'm getting maybe more musk therapy by Initio. Really? A mixture of, the, of them two? Yeah, maybe a mixture of the two. When you do a musk fragrance, it's hard not to compare it to of like course. musk therapy yeah. or the body shop white musk. Man, this I feel like Ooh. this one on skin will shine even more. Like it's a second it's a second skin fragrance, basically. But it's a little more. I'm getting some fruity nuances. Mm. Mm. It's very fresh, which I like. It's and like, light. Yeah, it's um it's bright. It's popping off the popping, paper. Yeah. It has a, a bit of a sparkling effect to it. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. I mean nice. You can't can't go wrong with this. I really want to test this on skin. I will be talking about this fragrance more in another video, but I'm intrigued. I like yeah, it. I like this. I like it. It's a fresh musk. It's not like uh, that toilet exactly. fecal yeah, yeah. musk that you get sometimes. Yeah. I feel that you can wear this fragrance like casually to go around errands if you don't yeah. want to appear too, you know, too much mm -hmm. with your fragrance. And if I'm not mistaken, they say all Kyalis can be like layered, they, right? Yeah, you can layer them. So this is, to me, this is gonna be like your base yeah, exactly. fragrance for yeah. anything, exactly. I think. It's very inoffensive and kind of a neutral smell yeah. and light enough to, to layer. Right. I mean, it's nice. I I love me a good musk fragrance. Oh yeah, for sure. Love it. I'm gonna give that an eight. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. Wow, yeah. I really like it. I like, my, I mean, I'm, I would I would like to put this beside those other, other musk, musk fragrances yeah. we've we've tested to see which one would be the best. Yeah. But right now this is this is popping. I really like it. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, Go ahead. The, this red bottle is, is again, calling my name. Oh, oh, I missed. This one is called Eden Juicy Apple. Now this one has been very hyped. <sighs> really? In the social media world. Okay. And I'm very, very intrigued. Wow. Yo. Oh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Wait a second. This is not what I was expecting. This one gives me a bit of a mixture of things. Okay, what's the mixture, baby? I get a bit of a cloud, Ariana Grande, mixed oh. up with pears and apples. Okay. It has that vibe to it. Okay, so you're saying it has a Baccarat vibe a, a little bit. A little bit of a Baccarat in there. Do you you know, when it? I first smelled it in the air, I thought it was going to be something like that. To me, this is ultra sweet. It is. And juicy. Candy apple. This is not like a organic gala apple from yeah, Whole yeah, Foods. Yeah, yeah, it's not. I'm for sure not. A hard candy specifically I don't I don't know why but it's giving hard, me yeah. a red hard candy yeah that, that you suck yeah. on. I don't know how I feel about it because of that reason though. But I feel like, I feel this one, if you wear it, again, it's a fragrance that you're gonna get complimented because it has this Baccarat DNA to me at least. Yeah, I'm getting it more now. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that kind of Baccarat cotton candy, sweet sugary vibe yeah. with candied apple on top of that. Yes. So it's very sweet. Very so sweet. So if you like sweet fragrances, you're gonna love this. Yeah. This is candy. But it does have depth. It doesn't smell cheap at all. It's, mm. it's good quality. Quality. Yeah. Good quality candy. Who is wearing this fragrance for you? For me, it's more like younger people. I would say younger vibe, but again, because of that depth and it not just smelling like sugary sweet candy, I think anyone can pull this off hmm. really. If you like sweet scents, there is something sexy about it and there's something juvenile about it. Uh huh. Wow, this is like. It's, it's yeah, pulling it's me from polarizing. both ends. Polarizing, yeah, 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 yeah. So you, you don't find it to smell cheap? No, I don't. You think it smells cheap? A little, a little bit. bit? Okay. A little bit. Yeah, I a mean, bit. it's tough when you're going for that kind of candy smell because yeah. it can go either way. You got to yes. be careful with that. But yeah. I think it's well done. Okay. I don't think it, it's cheap smelling. What's your rating? The more I smell it, the more I like it. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to give that an eight. 
Oh. Yeah, I thought I was gonna go lower, but it has a it has a charm to it. it. It's putting a spell on me. I like it. It has like a kind of shampoo vibe to okay. going on. Yeah, he I likes know. shampoos. I always talk about we shampoo. Don't make fun of me for it. <laughs> for me, yeah. this is a 6.5. Five. Yeah? Yeah. Not a big fan. I'm no. not, no. You know, it gets better as it's drying down. It had that really sweet, sharp candy. Yeah. But now it's kind of evening out. I, I, I like it. Okay. I'm a fan. All right. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So this one is Deja Vu White Flower. Did 50... you say Deja Vu? <laughs> Deja, Deja Vu. Deja Vu White, White Flower, Flower 57. 57. 57, man. So by the way, guys, the numbers you were telling me earlier, yeah. I'm not gonna act like I knew this. You you tell I them. I told you, yes. No, you tell them while I spray. So apparently the numbers beside the name of the fragrance is how many tries they took to make it. So I think this is the highest number we've had so 57. far. So they worked on this one. So I'm expecting big things. Do you see this color? Be that's, careful, that's ladies, don't wear this on a white shirt. These Kylie's are dark, man. Yeah, she goes in. Okay. Oh! Okay. No. Why? No. Why not? No. Yeah. Hold up. Hold your horses. Yeah. This is white florals galore. Tub tuberose. But musk. And you don't like that? No, this is the fecal musk that I don't like. It smells like poo poo. What the hell, man? <laughs> Just stop, man. You gotta do me like that. No, I like this one. Oh, no. I like this one. Ladies, if you like this older vibe from a fragrance, more mature, yeah. white florals, yeah. musky, you're gonna love this one. This Zwan. This Zwan? This Zwan. <laughs> you're I gonna mean, like it. sure. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's not musk. Because it says white flower, I'm thinking jasmine in like high quantities can sometimes smell kind of poopy in my experience. So it might be that. It's either the musk or, or the, the jasmine. jasmine. But guys, I'm getting like this background. I, I don't want to keep saying it, but you get the idea. I don't I don't get that at all. I don't get that at all. <sighs> I think, think she I think she did an amazing job with this one. Well damn. Yeah. I think this is the first one we disagree on completely. It, yeah. I like it. I, I wanna be careful when I say mature, but when I smell this, I get mature vibes. I know fragrances shouldn't have age, but yeah. when I think of it, I think of no, mature doesn't someone's mean mother. Age. Sophisticated, elegant. This is wise. It is wise. It man. is a wise fragrance for a wise woman. Obviously, a little girl cannot wear this fragrance. It will be too strong and very out there. It's you know, powerful, it's yeah. For a woman. Thick white florals, musky poop. Professional settings. <laughs> If you want to appear sophisticated, elegant, you go on a, on a business, business meeting woman, okay. for a business woman. I don't I know. Like I, would, I would fire the person who came to work with this Listen, thing on. My you, God. You can talk all you want. Three out of ten. Girls, we understand each other. We vi we're vibing yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Hear me out. This is cool. very good. Okay. This is very good. It is not like a ten out of ten. Okay. But for me, this is an eight point five. Wow. Yes. Okay. 8.5. I mean, if you like this style, if you like heavy white floral. I mean, you know me. Kind of vintagey, musky. You know me. Yeah, you like that stuff, I like, huh? yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go, darling. All right, let's go. I think this is the one we've smelt. That's a very dark juice. Wow. This is Vanilla 28. Okay. This one has a lot of hype. A lot of hype. People are like, can you In smell? In love can with this one. Can you talk about Vanilla 28? Why do I keep saying this one? <laughs> I don't know. So yes, we've both smelled this, but it's actually been a long time since I filmed that video. I mean, come on. Yeah. It lives up to the hype. It's delicious. It's very nice. So this is all about vanilla, but it does vanilla a little bit darker. Yeah, a little bit darker. Me. It's not that candied vanilla, the very glowing, sweet vanilla that you wear and you give headache to people. Yeah. Not at all. No, this is a more sophisticated, dark, Vanilla. To me, I always felt like there was like a brown sugar note in here. Oh, really? Like it gives me brown, brown feeling. Brown vanilla, kind of caramel molasses, maybe. You know what, what it smells like to me? What does it smell like? Cloves. Cloves. Okay, so you get some spices? I get, yeah, cloves. Uh, okay. Cloves. Yeah. No? Cloves, yeah. Cloves. I can see what you're saying. I'm getting that. Yeah, so it's not one dimensional either. No. It's not like vanilla. Yeah. Almost slightly boozy in the beginning, in the mm -hmm. opening, mm -hmm. when you first spray it. It's thick, rich. Uh, it also gives me like a Indian chai vibes. Oh, 
Ah, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Sweet chai, yeah. Yeah, sweet chai Maybe with some vanilla cardamom or, or some something. Spices. Yeah, some spices in there with vanilla. Yeah. I like that she went with this direction with her vanilla fragrance. Mm -hmm. It's not like a basic vanilla that everybody is creating these days. Yeah, there's layers to this. There is, there's sure. something to it. I also like that it's not super sweet. Mm -hmm. It's sweet enough and you, it's definitely a sweet vanilla fragrance, but it's not the kind that just makes you sick and it's like over, overdoing the vanilla. Exactly. So it has a classiness to it. Yeah. Even for a, like a gourmand. Yeah, and yes. I've never smelled anything like this before. Yeah, surprisingly for a vanilla fragrance, yeah. it's quite unique. Nice. So maybe that's why it has the hype it has. Maybe. It has women going crazy. All right, rating. It's very delicious yes. and it's great. But? <laughs> it's not blowing my socks off like the others. So I'm gonna give it a 7.5. Not bad. But it is delicious. Delicious is a 10 out of 10. For me personally, in general, it's a seven, seven and a half. I'll give this an eight out of 10. Solid. Yeah, eight out of 10. And a try in the fall. Salt. How about that? Try. Try in the fall. Yeah. Try the decan out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And off. Are you ready, sir? <laughs> you ask me that every time. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. We'll say the name for the hold people. Hold on, hold on. This one is Citrus 08. Okay. They made eight tries to get to this one. Hell fucking yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Hell yeah. You scared me. <gasps> Ah, oh, okay. Now this is, hmm. I'll tell you, it reminds me of those very fine, expensive soaps yeah, okay. that you have in your bathroom and you always, you smell it from the paper because they're wrapped in a paper Ooh. and you never want to basically open them up because you're, to use it up, yeah, yeah, you don't want to use them because they're so amazing. Wow. This is what this is. Okay, I like that you said that. When I, as soon as I brought it to my nose, I thought of soap. Hmm. I'm going to be honest here. I saw the name Citrus and I created, I don't know why I did this, <laughs> but I created this um, negative energy towards it because I'm like, oh, Citrus, it's going to be boring and I don't really like like just a plain mm. citrus fruit. Mm -hmm. But. Surprised me. Yeah. This is very pretty. This very is. Very nice. This very is pretty, exactly. Summer in Italy. Oh, bravo. This is what you wear in the summertime in Italy. Exactly. I don't know why. Imagine a girl with a nice floaty, floaty like dress. A sundress. Yeah, yes, like yeah. a sundress. Like that blown in the wind. Exactly. She's careless, no stress, no nothing. Mm. And she's just living her best life. On the um, um, Amalfi Coast. Exactly. This is what this is. Wow, that's really pretty. Very nice. It's not overly citrusy to the point that it's like bitter. No, but it has like a, a slight, a, a very, a, a tingle of bitterness just to have it. It's sharp as a citrus should be, but there's a sweetness in there. Yeah. A fruity Maybe a sweetness. muskiness too. Yeah. Oh. Soapiness. Very airy, very yeah. elegant. Yes. But careless. Careless. It's like fresh air. Fresh air, yeah. Fresh air by the sea. Doesn't smell like that, but mm. wow, this makes me happy. It's very nice. I'm happy right it's now. It's very nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. Do you want to hit with the rating? You know what? I'm like smiling right now. <laughs> I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. I'm shocked that a citrus fragrance is getting that rating from me. Shit, this is a 10 out of 10 for me. Really? Yeah. I need a bottle. You know what? I'm going to take this mm. nice travel size to Cyprus with me. Ah, perfect for the island. Absolutely. This is amazing. Impressive. Very nice. Very good citrus fragrance. Kayali, you did it once again. Nice. Amazing. We have two more. Two more. Go. We're saving the newest one for last. We'll, we'll get there. We know you all want to hear about yeah. Love Fest Burning Cherry. Exactly. But this right. one is Kayali Diamond Pink Pepper 25. This one has a little bit of a hype to it too. I mean, I guess they all somewhat have some hype, right? Yeah. I wonder if the citrus one had hype. Hmm. 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 No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How do you, I don't know how to describe this. Again, I don't want to be influenced by the name, but it does smell peppery to me. This one to me has a slight similarity to Invite Only. This cabinet vibe, hmm. maybe a bit of a whiny cabinet, sugary. Wait a second. You get that? No, but. Am I smelling rose? Like a green rose? There's some floral in there that it smells- It might be a rose, yeah. There's something in there that makes it basic to me. It makes okay. it basic to me, I'm sorry. It smells like a soapy, green, peppery rose. Not sweet, kind of flat, and just- Yeah, definitely rosy. I don't know, man. This is something that I would spray my bathroom to smell nice. Yeah, this is not attractive at no. all, for sure. I like 
rose in certain settings. There's a few rose fragrances that I really love. Yeah, but I don't I don't think this is... This is not the kind of rose that I yeah. like, if it's rose. Yeah. If, could you imagine it's not rose? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna create YouTube if there's no rose in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna give... I'm gonna give this one a 4 out of 10. I don't like this one. I, I don't. Yeah, this this is doing nothing for me. I'm smelling and I feel empty inside. That's a no, 2 out of 10. No, 2 no, out of 10. No, okay. no. Nope. Not. No. 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 And we're at the end, guys. We're at the end, and we have one more fragrance. Why do I feel like this went by super fast? I, I want to smell more fragrances. Because you're having fun. You things pass by when no, you have yeah. fun. That's time what they flies. Say. Time flies. All right. So this is their latest release, correct? This is the latest release. We got another travel size. And it is Love Fest Burning Cherry 48. Have you seen any reviews on this yet? Uh, what, what's what's the word? Is it hyped? Is it okay? I think it's hyped. It's hyped. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. Women like it. Oh, hey. Hey. What is it, making your mouth water? Yeah, it's like a very... Mm, that's a dark cherry. Oh, and, and very juicy one too, like a very plump one. Yeah. Dark cherry. It's a big round plump <laughs> cherry. Interesting, but... I'm not mad at this. I feel like this is gonna get compared to Tom Ford. I get the Lost same vibe. Yeah, I get that same kind of amaretto. Uh huh. Feel. Yeah, right? Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, it's not just cherry. No, actually, yeah, this kind of smells like a Disarono. Disarono! <laughs> Disarono on the rocks. With a cherry on top. Which used to be your favorite uh, drink of choice. My, yeah, it used to be my favorite drink. So definitely boozy, definitely dark cherry, not tart at all. It's not a tart cherry. No, it's not. It has a slight sweetness to it. Yeah, and maybe a smokiness in the mm. far background. I mean, it's called burning cherry after all. Yeah, okay. I'm getting like a smoldering oh, in see. the background. I see, I see. There's something dark to like it. embers, ember f embers, yeah. Mm. Do you find it sexy? Yes. Not ultra sexy, but I, I can see this working again in the evening time. What color is her dress? Well, the dress gotta be burning red <laughs> cherry, baby, with some with some hot, some, uh, this, I just went like this. Some, some hot? <laughs> some hot red lipstick. It's not blowing my socks off, but it's very delicious. Yeah, it's very mysterious. Yeah. She's, you are mysterious if you're wearing this fragrance. There's something else that will make a guy want to get to know. Yeah, I, I can see this drawing in a guy to, to Absolutely. To because of the, <clears throat> the amaretto feel, as I'm smelling it, I picture a bar setting. I picture that single woman sitting on the stool at the bar having a drink. She drinks not a super girly drink, not Coca-Cola either. She's drinking like scotch, some kind of whiskey on the rocks, you know? <laughs> She's sophisticated. But she wants to play. She, yes, I like that. She wants to play. She, she's giving off the front that she's, you know, so mysterious, but she, she came to play. She's, she's a just wait fatale. <laughs> she's waiting for the right moment to oh, pounce. Yeah. I like it. I will say it's fading on paper very fast. Yeah. Which the other ones I didn't get, I feel mm. like it's dying on paper. I'm gonna give that one, I don't know, it's kind of simplifying as it dries. Seven and a half as well. Yeah. It's not quite an eight. It's not a down the middle seven. It's above a like, it's above average. It's a solid seven for me. It just, I feel like I need something else going yeah. on. It's very good. But it's nice. So there you have it, guys. Have it. This was the Kayali Sniff and Rate. This is the uh, conclusion of the Kayali experience. Exactly. We hope you enjoyed the ride. <laughs> of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. If you're new here and you haven't hit the subscribe button, you gotta subscribe to Curly Sand. And give this video a big thumbs up. Give it a big thumbs up. And what else? most importantly, you gotta leave a comment down below. What Kayalis have you tried? What is your favorite Kayali? What do you think about Kayali in general? Let's start Let a conversation in, in the comments section. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Bye.